Hello, my amazing Algebra Half students. We're on Lesson 19, and we're multiplying and dividing fractions. This is a fun lesson. So up until now, we have expressed multiplication with a little time sign, 4 times 3, or a dot that is in between 4 times 3. And those are both great, but when we're in algebra, which you're in pre-algebra, and so you're starting to learn algebra concepts, we use x as a variable. And a variable is a letter that stands for an unknown number. And x is one of our most common variables that we're going to use. Therefore, it becomes awkward to use an X as a time symbol. So what we do is we keep the little dot symbol and we use parentheses to indicate multiplication. Any of these works. Um, you can have them both in parentheses or one or the other. Um, but we will no longer regularly use the time sign. We will go with one of these others to avoid confusion. Now you will see that in scientific notation, which we will be learning, we will still use the time sign. But that's pretty much the only time we really regularly use the X symbol for the time sign anymore. Okay, so here in section B of lesson 19, we're going to multiply fractions. When we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across the numerators and we multiply straight across the denominators. If we have something that's going to simplify first, it's often easier to do that. Who wants to multiply 4 times 18 if we can make it easier? But when we look at these numbers, we have a 4, and there's nothing that has a 4 or a 2 in it downstairs. Um, we have a 5, no multiples of 5. So in this one, it's just not going to have anything in common, numerator with denominator. So we're going to go ahead and multiply straight across the top. So 4 times 5 is 20, and... 9 times 7 is 63. Because we looked beforehand to see if anything was going to cancel, then we can just leave it like that, knowing that we've already checked to see if there was a way to simplify. Okay, so now we're going to look at this one. Now, 9 and 4, so we've got, we can cancel the 4 with either denominator and we can cancel the 18 with either denominator. So let's do it the easiest way. We can only cancel things once. So let's look at 9 and 18. 9 goes into 18 two times. So I'm going to go ahead and say, well, 18 divides by 9 two times, and 9 divides by 9 one time. So I simplified. It does not have to be the denominator that's right under the fraction, it can be the one that's on the other side of the multiplication sign. So then I look at 4 and 30, and they both have a 2. So 4 is 2 times 2, and 30 is 15 times 2. Okay, so I take a good look at that, and I say, yes, there's no other thing that I can do to cancel or simplify. So now I'm going to multiply across the top. 2 times 2 is 4. And across the bottom, 1 times 15 is 15. And my final answer is 4 over 15. Okay, so now we're on the C portion of this lesson 19. We're talking about division of fractions. And we have the same fraction in two different forms. So 5 sevenths divided by 4 fifths or 5 sevenths divided by 4 fifths. They mean exactly the same thing. Now, division by a fraction is the same thing as multiplication by its reciprocal. Now, I'm going to show you one time why this works, because I find a lot of students do not know why we flip and multiply. So, the, the prescription for dividing fractions is to flip the bottom fraction and multiply, okay? So that is what we are to do 
okay and so now we're going to um, take this one and I'm going to show you why we flip the bottom fraction over in multiply if I were to take this problem and I said I just want to get rid of that denominator then I would say well if I multiply four-fifths by its reciprocal five-fourths then wouldn't I get rid of the denominator altogether but I cannot multiply the denominator by five-fourths unless I, ulti I also multiply the numerator by 5 fourths because 5 fourths divided by 5 fourths is 1. So now my 4 fifths times the 5 fourths cancels out. And guess what I have as an equivalent expression? I've got 5 sevenths times the reciprocal of the denominator. So if I flipped this over and multiplied it by the numerator fraction, I would have my answer. And my answer is 25 over 28. So 25 divided by 28 is my answer. Okay, so also we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take our 5 fourths our four-fifths, flip it over to get five-fourths, and change our sign to multiplication, and we get 25 28 again. Okay, we have one more practice uh, example, and then we're going to start our practices, and we'll be done with this lesson. Okay, so here we have a division. So we're going to flip this fraction over, and then we're going to change to multiplication. Now you have to see what your teacher wants you to do. I'm going to do it the long way and your teacher may allow you to take a shortcut. But I'm going to just rewrite it as 21 divided by 6 times 4 over 27. And that might be the best way to do it, just to keep things neat. So now we've got 21 and 27, and we've got 4 and 6. And 21 has a 3 and a 7 in it. It does not cancel. 21 has a 3, but 27 also has a 3. So why don't we go ahead and do that, okay? 21 is 3 times 7, and 27 is 3 times 9. That helps. Okay, and then 4 and 6 are both divisible by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and everything is as simple as I can get it, isn't it? So we're going to wind up with 14 divided by 27. Now, are there other ways I could do that? Because I wound up with 27. Could I have taken the 3 and the 2 and canceled the 6? Yes, I could have. I would have gotten the same answer, right? Okay, so 14 over 27 is the correct answer. So now let's go down here. And we have a times. We're on our practice now. So pause your video. Okay, hopefully you tried this one on your own. So now, ooh, look what I see. I see 4 times 3 is 12. So can I cancel those just like that? I can. And then I wind up with 1 ninth. Okay, I could have done it other ways, but to me that was the simplest way because I could see the 4 times 3 and I could see the 12. And so I just canceled it right away. And that is the correct answer, even though you could get it doing it another different way. Try it several ways. Here we go with our last two problems. Okay, so we're going to flip the denominator since this is a division. We're going to flip this one up here and make it six fourths times. Okay, and remember if we multiply the six fourths on the top and the bottom, that's really what's happening here because we're really multiplying by one like I showed you before. But we can cancel it out here and just change it to multiplication by a reciprocal. Now 
we have a 6 and an 8 that both have a 2. So we divide and get a 3 and a 4. And nothing else is going to cancel. So 3 times 3 is 9. And 4 times 4 is 16. So we get a 9 over 16. Did you do it? All right. So here we have another one. Pause your video. Okay, so I'm going to write this one over again. So we have four-fifths times five-tenths. Oh, that's a nice one because our fives cancel. And we're left with four over ten, but our four and our ten both have twos that we can take out. And we wind up getting two-fifths. And that is all we had. This is Mrs. A, and may God bless your day.